Disney's extras, Mr. Mansions and Millionaires. You have a washer dryer in the your closet. Room. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Extras Mansions and Millionaires. I'm Michael Corbett. Thanks for joining us. Get ready. Extras Mansions and Millionaires is stepping out in style. This weekend, we are going to show you the money. From homes to hotels to cars, clothes, even more, we are going to show you the best that money can buy. But who can afford all these luxuries? Well, in Hollywood, there are plenty of names on that list. Welcome to Cars of the Glade. Come on in, my wife's not here. I'm here in Provo, Utah, at Larry King's newest castle. Dozens of stars have opened their doors to mansions and millionaires Michael Corbett to reveal their personality. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, yeah. We're going to sneak into her closet. Come on. Damn it, Michael. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Here's our lunchbox. I absolutely love this bed. You know? Don't you? Oh yeah, this is nice, this is really comfortable. What I'm saying is rugs are not just for floors anymore. <laughs> okay, so when we come back, it's gonna have a swimming pool, it's gonna have the and jacuzzi. And all have lost some weight. So it's just an overall. It's a huge, it's like a whole, it's a whole makeover. Everything is gonna be made over. We're doing the entire makeover, top to bottom. Carrie, the house. People inside the house, the house itself. The pool, your mother. Nothing will be the same. <laughs> Debbie will act like a regular human being. And maybe I will too. You know, Tom Arnold invited me to stop by his house today to check out his new place, but I had no idea he was going to put me to work. Yeah, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. And when Michael Corbett's not raiding the homes of the rich and famous. I've actually been renovating houses ever since I was on Ryan's Hope. I've always really been hooked on real estate. When I first uh, was doing my first soap opera, when I was on Ryan's Hope, I bought my first little house near my parents and I converted it from a two bedroom to a three bedroom and I dressed it up. I just I just love being able to restore them. One of the funny things that I found here in the house that I, I didn't even know what it was at first, it had a, a central vacuum system. The only thing that I didn't quite patch yet, you see, I just got a painting big enough. This was one of the old speaker systems throughout the house so I thought we'll just put like a Japanese print on it and no one will know. Nice, huh? So I went to my neighbor and I said, hey, would you mind if I did a little trimming? What we created, I, I guess, turned out to be the lollipop forest. I get my view, the pine trees still are healthy, and now it looks like Oz, the land of the lollipops. Yep, the former soap punk has turned author. And in his new book, Find It, Fix It, Flip It, Michael's showing you how to build your own incredible real estate empire. Yes, I not only have a TV show, not only am I on Extras, Mansions, and Millionaires, but I am a real estate investor just like you guys. I started out with $10,000, and I've been able to roll that into millions of dollars in real estate. If I can do it, you guys can do it. What I wanted to do was really teach people how to empower themselves when it comes to real estate. Buy the worst house on the best block. It's called house flipping, it's called house specking. But what it really is, is buying an older home, renovating it, furnishing it, putting it back on the market, and hopefully offer a profit. This is one of my flip houses. It was really, really ugly. Michael says one simple trick to boost your home's price tag is through its curb appeal by adding on a front porch, a great new colored door, some numbers, lighting, landscaping, and wow, I like it. And you'll love the rest of Michael's hip housing tips. He's very good looking. <laughs> They're wonderful. We love them. 